Hey y'all, welcome back to Underdog Magician Tarot. This is your girl Cheeky. I'm going to be giving you some messages for the sign of... Damn, what ones did I do last, y'all? Mm, I don't even remember. Oh, Gemini. Yeah, so if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. If they do resonate, please like and subscribe. Um, to the ones new to my channel, welcome. Shout out to my subscribers. Also, shout out to the ones that have been praying for me and my recovery. Also, to the ones that are also subscribers, you can now become a member of my channel. Of my channel. So that's an option as well. You know. Show your girls some love. To the ones that want to book a personal reading, that information will be down below along with donation information. Alright, but let's tap into this Gemini energy. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? So we have the King of Wands showing up. Some of you could be dealing with a fire side or some of you could be in this like fiery energy here, feeling very motivated very ambitious at this time i'm also seeing you're building up some type of courage here as well we got death here king of cups let me go ahead and move that and the knight of wands here so okay what i'm also picking up on for some of you, you could be, like, experiencing some type of, like, major shift or change when it comes to how you emotionally feel about something. Something is going on with your emotions. Like, you could either be in your feelings or something could be changing about your feelings for somebody else. And it's causing some type of frustration here. Something or somebody is frustrating you. What else, Spirit? I'm also seeing some of you could be like, I don't know, wanting to tell somebody something. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups here. And the nine of swords. So there is some frustration surrounding a uh, new start here in love or just in life general. Somebody could be in despair or somebody could be feeling very, like somebody could be worried or expecting the worst here. Somebody could be also having some type of sleepless nights, anxiety, depression. Could be dealing with a, a fire sign, queen of wands that you're in a connection with. <laughs> Yeah, some of you are dealing with a fire sign. You can also be in this fiery energy as well. But something is going something is not right. What's what's going on, spirit, for the Gemini? We got the five of swords, yeah. There's some type of five of swords, five of wands, and the six of uh, wands. There could have been some type of jealousy or envy here. There could have been also some type of competition. I feel like somebody was trying to beat somebody to the punch when it came to some type of victory here. But it caused some type of death and change in somebody else's emotions or feelings or something. Yeah, it's like Somebody could have been feeling confused or trying to cause confusion here and holding somebody back. We got the Seven of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. We also got the High Priestess here and the Will of Fortune. So somebody could have been doing something very hateful, mean, and malicious and causing conflict when it came to somebody else's victory. Or somebody could be feeling that way. 
it could either be you or the person that you're around. It's like it's like somebody could also some, somebody could have also been causing some type of confusion here and trying to hold another person back from being victorious. But it's like now somebody is like, but I'm seeing like my right eye jumping. So I'm pretty much seeing whoever was doing this to a particular person, it ended up backfiring and causing some type of change or death to somebody else's partner. Like, like the roles were reversed here in a way where whoever somebody kept constantly attacking when it came to conflict or chaos, it ended up reversing and going like 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 backfiring. Something backfired here and it's like now somebody's person could be very chaotic. Like something something changed about this person's feelings. Like they could be very ragey now or irritated or frustrated. It's like everything is irritating this person. Bro, I'm hearing somebody's about to snap. Somebody gonna be getting somebody. There, there can there can be a physical, an uh, actual physical fight that breaks out because somebody, somebody snaps. Somebody literally snaps on another person here. What else, spirit? Yeah, we got the three of wands here, and the renewal card. I'm telling you, this is this has something to do with somebody's abundance or somebody else's ships coming in here and renewing something with a, another person. Somebody could have been doing something in a hateful way or doing something out of envy or jealousy, causing conflict or chaos, or could have even been in competition here. Somebody was trying to beat somebody else to the punch. But it ended up backfiring in a way where it it creates some type of change, like drastic change in somebody else's emotions or feelings for another person. Like it's like somebody, because somebody is now like I don't know, the, either you are very irritated or you feeling very irritable about everything. Yeah, because we keep we got the seven of cups and the four of pentacles. Mm, excuse me, still coming out. Excuse me. Yeah, somebody was trying to cause confusion to hold another person back. This could have been a high priestess they were doing this to. Yeah, we got high priestess, will of fortune, page of pentacles, and the seven of wands. Yeah, so this has something to do with somebody's fortune, destiny, money matters. Something is backfiring on the person that was. Oh, shit. So something could be backfiring. Okay, we got the King of Swords too. Something could be backfiring on either a, the air sign or a fire sign or both of these people. What else, Spirit? Hmm. We got the two of pentacles here, the eight of wands, and the king of swords. Okay, so it's like now somebody wants to balance something out. Or somebody is trying to find a way to balance out their finances here. With the eight of wands, someone could be coming in with some type of fast communication here. Or something, somebody could be trying to make something happen fast. With the eight of wands, king of swords, somebody is trying to make a fast move. Yeah, to get some type of... uh. New financial beginning here. Like somebody wants to partner up with somebody now here. Yeah, cause we got the ace of cup. We got the ace of pentacles, the two of cup, the two of cups, and the hermit card. Yeah, somebody could be like spending a lot of time in solitude when it comes to something they did or somebody else did. It's like somebody is now trying to stay strong in a situation because they feel stuck and trapped. They they feel like with the eight of swords they feel. They feel stuck and trapped, or they could be mentally going through something. Somebody is getting ready to win witness that somebody has a, a mental illness here. Somebody could be 
somebody could be also trying to make a offer to another person here, but there's some type of deception surrounding that offer. It's like somebody trying to only offer something to steal something from another person. I'm telling you, it's something. Somebody is trying to find a way to hurry up and pull a fast one on somebody when it comes to a new financial beginning. So they could be coming around acting like, you know, they're caring and kind-hearted. Someone could be acting, also acting like um, they're very loving and trustworthy, but this person, this person has some type of um, deceptive intention or something like that. But let's see. Let's keep going. What else, spirit, do you have for Gemini? Yeah, we got see the truth here, and we got make the sacrifice. So, somebody could be seeing the truth when it comes to a situation or a particular person or two people. Somebody could have been trying to sacrifice another person here. But spirit is telling this person, even though they know that, to be without malice, which means don't react. Don't react like these people have reacted towards you. You know, be without the malicious intent or intentions or the, the, the envy, the jealousy, you know. Even though these people have tried to sacrifice you or sacrifice something pertaining to finances, don't, don't come off as hateful. Or don't come off as envious. Or just don't, don't, don't get out of character, basically. What else, Spirit? We got a new day dawn here. So something could be coming in here when it comes. Like there could be something. Okay. Something could be coming in either sometime today or tomorrow. Because it say a new day dawn, which means a new day. Tomorrow. Talking about tomorrow here, your needs are going to be met. We got, we got needs and necessities. Yes, yeah, like somebody was doing something. To try to pull a fast one on somebody when it came to a new financial beginning, but it ended up redirecting this person in a way where it changed them. It changed them emotionally, their feelings or some something. It's like now somebody is somebody could be mentally going through something or suffering from a mental illness. It's like now somebody else. It's like now somebody else is confused and. They don't know what's happening. I don't this is some this shit is crazy. Yeah, we got here the ancient ones. So some of you could be speaking with your ancestors about this. Or they could be telling you. They could be letting you know that something could be going wrong with somebody mentally. It's like now somebody's feeling confused. And could be suffering like from from mental thoughts over and over. Something is replaying in somebody's mind, but it's driving them crazy. It's causing them to be driven crazy. Somebody is going crazy within the mind for something they kept doing. What else, spirit, do you have for Gemini? Okay, so spirit just showed me. Y'all know how a dog mistake his tail for something and he starts to chase it right so that's what's happening to this person this person mentally is like going through something where it's like they're chasing they're chasing some type of thought but it's it's, it's driving them crazy it's driving them in a circle like it's got them going in circles mentally some, this is this is some type of karma or something. What else do you have for Gemini? Yeah, we got the bat here. This is some this, there's something changing in somebody's life here, or somebody was trying to change somebody else's life when it came to their independence. Somebody was trying to do something to somebody. This could have been a high priestess they were trying to do this to, but something backfired in a major way. We got haunted. Yeah, now somebody is haunted. By somebody's independence. Somebody's haunted by another person. It's like now they, they can be sitting in this room. 
realizing how much they done done and how many times they done something and all these ghosts and shit are like trying to grab at them. Can y'all see them hands trying to grab at that lady? Look at all those hands. Something could be like somebody is spooked the fuck out. I'm trying to come up with a movie where it's like a person could have been sitting in his chair and all this weird ass shit kept popping up around them and they ooh, like ghosts and monsters and shit and the motherfucker sitting in the chair like eh, like like it's just like something is haunting this person now. Like something is grabbing at them and touching them and something is driving the motherfucker crazy. Somebody is going the fuck crazy. It's like the dog when he chases his tail. When he constantly keep thinking that the tail is something else. Okay, huh, y'all stupid. Okay, so Spirit is showing me when um, Smokey was in the pigeon coop after smoking angel dust. And he fucking was, <laughs> like, tapping on himself and shit. Like, like he was getting bit by something, right? And he... Tripping and shit. Acting like a bird. Okay, yeah, somebody somebody is going nuts, yo. Hold on for a minute. Oh wait, let me move this because I don't wanna have all this up here right now. Okay. Alright. What else messages do okay, damn, thank you. Yeah, we got letting go here. So some of you could be having to let go of this person because Something is something is going wrong. Yeah, we got right action. So some of you could be thinking about walking away or letting letting go of this person, and spirit is telling you you're taking the right action. You could also be you could also be being guided to let somebody go. Somebody is really, uh, yo, I can literally see somebody really going mentally insane. We got acceptance here. So spirit could be telling you to let something go and accept the situation or the person for who it is or for what it is. Yeah, because we have, we have divine love here. So there could be the divine love. You could be getting blessed with divine love or divine partner after realizing your worth here. Well, spirit. Yeah, we got change here. So while something is changing in your life, you need to be working on self-love. Working on loving yourself before this divine, before you be connected to your divine person, your divine partner. Or before some type of divine union come together. Some of you could be working on yourself, focusing on yourself here. Or spirit is telling you before this divine before this divine partner shows up, they want you to work on yourself. Work through your work through the issues you had, you know. Continue to heal the areas in your life that that you still deal with that have some type of trauma to them. Or that needs to be healed. <laughs> Bro, somebody about to somebody about to find out that a person has mentally gone crazy. And it's like there's no coming back from this. There's no Ooh. You see that joystick? Look at the joystick. Look at your joystick. Move it. Don't move it, move it. I know exactly why you did that. But look at the joystick. I'm telling you, look at the joystick. I know. I, I, it'd be like that. I have my hand. I hit this. Look. Put the chair to the table. I'm over here. Did she break his leg? What's wrong with his leg? What, what, what's wrong with his leg, Zaylin? Tap him. 
You see, you see his leg? Huh? His leg. He limping. Yeah. Mommy, leave that dog alone. No, his leg ain't hurt. You be pulling his legs. I know how he look. look. Oh, he walk. He walking back on. He good. He good. But like I was saying, somebody is um. Somebody is about to really see somebody really um. Like something about this person is about to change. And it's no coming back from this change. What is the blessing message for Gemini? What's the blessing message for Gemini? Yeah, we got a blessing of earth here. So some of you could be like dealing with an earth sign. A blessing on your boundaries. Yeah, so there could be an earth sign here that could be setting their boundaries when it comes to a person. We got a blessing of chill on, on the children, yeah. So there could be an earth sign here that's setting boundaries with someone when it comes to their children. Or somebody may need to, somebody somebody may need to somebody somebody what? Hold on for a minute. Somebody may need to set boundaries with a particular person when it comes uh, Sorry y'all. Um So some of you, some some there could be an earth sign here that could be setting boundaries when it comes to their children. Or somebody may need to watch this person around their children. What else, Spirit, for Gemini? Yeah, we got a blessing of prosperity here. So this is definitely pertaining to somebody's abundance. Somebody is definitely getting blessed here when it comes to abundance and prosperity. Can y'all stay out my blinds if I pluck your forehead and your little ears off? But that's all I have for you, Gemini. I hope this helped. Please stay tuned, and I will definitely be back with more messages. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye.